Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Hero Ranger tutorial series. In this particular tutorial, we're going to take a look at taking a mesh that I made inside of Blender, and then put it into 3ds Max, and then export it out, and then put it inside of Hero Engine. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, we want to go up here, and we want to import. and want to select our local disk R HE project Z test mesh test mesh obj and we'll just leave all this at default and hit import um, we'll just skip this because I was a PNG at the time but we can add it later okay so here's our itty bitty little test mesh that I made now I want to go up here to the material editor and we want to change what's the standard we want to click it and we want to change it to hero now this tutorial assumes that you already have uh, three ds max set up properly and I'm going to change this to AO map because I don't really like non underscore now for the diffuse we want it to select the bitmap and then local disk R, project Z, test mesh, and we want to select our DDS. Okay. So now if your model actually has a normal slash specular, you can put it in there and you can check whether or not the specular is in the alpha channel. Um, texture address mode, we'll just leave this at wrap, auto selected. We don't really have any effects. We don't have reflectivity, no translucency. So all this we can leave alone. All right. So now we're just going to close out of this. I'm going to right click, go to object properties, make sure the material is set correct. Now I'm going to go over here to the utilities. Do you believe it's under utilities? More. Um, ah yes, here we go. Sorry, I had a slight brain lapse. And then we'll go down to utilities, and we will select the Hero Engine export or Hero Export 10.6. All right, and we will just leave all this at default and static asset. I'll close out of that and we'll make sure our object is selected we will export our selected and we're going to want to bump up to project Z test mesh and I'm going to call this test mesh and it will automatically create the granny2 file okay so now we'll go to our repository browser and we will just select both of these the DDS and the granny file and we'll just drag and drop these into our pre-made folder. Now, uh, something I'm going to cover while this is uploading. If you didn't follow uh, the setting up the art repository browser, this won't work uh, because Let me blow this up real quick so I can show you. It needs to be set up so that you have HE and then whatever projects you have under it. And I have created a custom folder called Project Z and I have Test Mesh. And obviously right here we have local disk R. Uh, if you don't have this set up properly, uh, it, it won't work. Uh, you're just going to get a nice and ever so lovely uh, gray model. And at the moment we're just waiting for it to transfer I assume at some point it will finish it might take a while because of that mesh I'm just gonna pause it real quick while it uploads okay so now as you can see both assets are on here and we'll go to hero engine go to create model load asset HE Project Z test sitting. We'll load this. 
All right, and then we'll select our dynamic place, create model test mesh. We'll put it down here, and then we'll zoom way in. Uh, we need to. Sorry. I... Well, let me uh, select it here. May take a while for the uh, texture to actually get streamed down to my PC, so we'll pause it again. All right, so here is our mesh fully in and with our rather ugly texture on it. And if we jump back to our repository browser and refresh right here, you'll see that it has created our collision meshes. Eh, not enough to jump. No. I'll just cheat and uh, fall on the top. Oh yeah. Cheated. But still. Alright, so that concludes this drill on how to export a static mesh uh, from 3ds Max to Hero Engine. If you have any other suggestions, uh, please stop by the Hero Engine forums and suggest any new tutorials as well. If you have any questions on this tutorial or any of the others, please stop by my forum or one of the <coughs> or the Hero Engine forums, and I'll be glad to answer them at either place. As well, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can keep up to date with uh, when the new tutorials will be going live and what I'm doing. Alright, thank you.